Jesu. Amen. Glory to Jesu. Amen. Lagbara je Jesu. Amen. Baba oni rere ayo. Adopa lowo re. Bo se ba wa se lo so se. Olagbo pe wa. Amen. Olagbo yin wa. Amen. Loni Olua to ba wa se. Amen. In rere ayo na re Olua to ba wa so. Amen. Awa mo re ka gba yo. Amen. Ka gba iye ni pekun. Amen. Olua ko gogo. Amen. Loruko Jesus Christi Oluwa wa. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Eko ti an ba te soju. The teaching we are continuing with. Ona ni si pa ti an se is the exposition we are giving. Lori on in Dafidi. On the book of Psalm. Ori ogojo le mesa. 49. Esele ke san. Verse 9. Ninu ori iwe na. In that Bible reference. Wole Dafidi wi pe Prophet David says any spirit that is redeemed will live forever and not see hell. We said this was the eternal purpose of God for us the sons of men before God made this world and put us human beings in it. We read in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 through 5 but through Satan's deceit Adam's spirit days in the garden of Eden the breast of life that God gave to us sons of men that would make us live forever the immortal spirit of God through the sin of Adam the spirit became a candidate for the grave and he could no longer go up to heaven and the earthly body would return to the dust through the same sin of Adam he made God a benefactor and enemy of us, sons of men. God that blessed forever. Who blessed us with the spirit of life? Adam caused him to place curse on our hasty bodies. The creatures God did not make us for. Satan, death, and hell. The sin of Adam gave us over to them. But we have said repeatedly in our past teachings that we give thanks to God that it was not in Adam that God had proposed that it would make us his children when he proposed in eternity past. But it's in Christ who is God. The word of God. The power of God. The wisdom of God. By whom God made us sons of men. It's in him God proposed. That he would make us his everlasting children. We said therefore. This sin of Adam. And not spoil it, the purpose of God for us, the sons of men, is seen in the Garden of Eden. Would only task Christ. The sin of Adam, which he committed in the Garden of Eden, that made us mortal beings and candidates for the grave, did not spoil the eternal purpose of God on so us, the sons of men, but the sin would give a work to Christ in whom we were made. And that is the work of coming to the world to reconcile us to himself so that when he would come and reconcile us to himself then we would forever belong to God. Having come back to Christ and we belong to Christ forever. What David said then 
then would come through again. We would no longer see the grave, but shall live forever. Because of this, we said it this week. We would consider Christ. How he would come as man. To be our new foundation. We sons of men. All the good plans of God. For us sons of men. Which Adam's forest. In the garden of Eden. We said we would consider. How Christ. The new foundation. The everlasting foundation. Foundation of life. That rock that could not be pulled down. How it would come to this world. To fulfill its eternal purpose on us, its creatures. In the fulfillment of our promise today, we will begin to consider Christ the Savior. How God sent him. To take us back to Christ and to God. We see that in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. On the very day, Adam ate the fruit. Before God placed judgment on him, in the anger of God on him, God had earlier spoken the word of mercy in Genesis 3, verse 15. And the word of mercy was God said he would give to him a seed that would come to this world to destroy Satan and his work of death on us. In the fulfillment of this promise of God, that means there's no foundation that is Christ who is the word of God himself by whom God made all things there is no foundation that is Christ there is the wisdom in God that God used to make us sons of men there is no foundation that is Christ the power of God by whom God made us sons of when he would come to destroy Satan and his work of destruction over us he would come as a man in the fulfillment of the promise of God in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 because of this when God began the program that would make Christ come to the world God considered the whole earth and called a man with whom he was pleased that God could use as his vessel so that Christ would come through his lineage. This vessel of God that God found in the world was Abraham. The Bible makes us know Abraham. that Abraham was someone with whom God was pleased because the good program for all sons of God God wanted to start with him so that man that God would use so that Christ the Lord the mighty God the everlasting father Christ the Lord with the word of God Christ the Lord with the power of God Christ the Lord with the wisdom of Christ God Christ the Lord that we we'll read in Proverbs chapter 8 verse 22 through 31 that he and God were brought forth together from eternity past so that one God would use so that this Lord would come to the world would be someone with whom God was pleased. So the Bible testifies <laughs> the good things that God called Abraham. Because the good thing <laughs> that God would use his life for in Genesis chapter 15 verse 
verse 6. Abraham God called Abraham a righteous. Yes. O si gba Oluwa gbo Abraham gba Oluwa gbo O si kan si fun ni ododo pe Abraham gba Oluwa gbo ni that Abraham believed God Olorun pe ni ododo God declared him a righteous Se wa Olorun ni It is God's habit Pray about the sorrow That once he speaks ta gbo we that we believe it Ora te Olorun ba Abraham so The word God spoke to Abraham Abraham gba gbo Abraham believed it Then Olorun pe ni ododo So God pronounced him a righteous Can I we What are we saying Oh e lo to lo aye olu The verse of God would use Pe ki ipele aye ra aye yi That this everlasting this foundation that is Christ Ko le gba do le wonu aye Could come to the world through him Ko ni ga ta Olorun be Adam it, it would not be an enemy of God God like it wouldn't be someone God was angry with. But it would be somebody God loved. So in this reference, that we read, God pronounced Abraham a righteous. So that verse who that God prepared. That Christ that the foundation of life would come to the world through was someone God pronounced a righteous. God called him another name that shows that it was a beloved man of God. In Isaiah chapter 41 verse 8 there God calls him his friend yes sugar sugar Iwa, Iwa, Israeli, Israeli, Jacob, and Timothy, and Timothy, and Timothy, Hallelujah. 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 In this reference, yeah, Isaiah. in Isaiah, Holy God, you look at chapter 41, verse 8. Along with that, our God, our Creator, O to pray Abraham, cause Abraham, oh, Lord, he, this verse of his, some are that he would use, Christ would come to the world, through whom Christ would come to the world. Oh, Lord, to pray, oh, right. God called him his friend. Oh, don't let him make you. Making two good things. To one name, Abala. That are powerful, that are great. Okay, Abraham. That God called Abraham. Oh, when you Lord do do. He called him a righteous. Oh, when you are. And called him his friend. Abba, now look when you Lord do do. So that one God called a righteous. So when you are, and his friend. Now look what we see. God prepared. Gagabi onwe ilu. As his vessel. To jaye niya. That was a man. Nen kwa tiki si opa wa ye. So that when Christ would come to the world. On this say, Baba ye la ye. He, the everlasting father. Kote wanati a ye la ye. That had been from eternity past. Kwa toba wa ye. When he would come to the world. Ye niya. As man. It was through this righteous man, a friend of God, that he would come. What are we seeing? See, there's no foundation. It's a foundation that makes us know that God loves us as creatures. There's no foundation. Yes, it's the one that will make God do us good. There's no foundation. The good purpose of God that he had on us even from eternity which Adam tried to spoil that he would restore it to her so all the programs that concern this new foundation they are the ones God was pleased with and God was doing them gladly for as we are reading there's no foundation is God himself okay hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now this Abraham who God called a righteous who he called his friend God made the source of his blessing for us human beings God made him a blessing for us sons of men Adam was caused for us, sons of men. Abraham But Abraham would be a blessing for us, sons of men. The new foundation. That 
that God began through Abraham a foundation of blessing for us sons of men and we who have understanding concerning what blessing is there is no cause in blessing there is no death in blessing there is no Satan in blessing there is no hell in blessing there is no evil thing in blessing blessing is God's favor so God made a provision of blessings through Abraham in Genesis chapter 12 verse 3 let's hear what it says Abraham God called Abraham his source of blessing for e source of men, the new foundation, e the foundation of blessing. Yes. E mi yes. 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 Abraham the man who God said was a righteous who he called his friend in this Genesis chapter 12 verse 3 God said in him all living beings would become blessed people of God again therefore this is an entirely new or different foundation this one has caused Adam to vanish and the judgment of God on him and the curse of God on him the destroyers whom Abraham brought to our lives this word of the Lord has caused them to vanish. Satan is vanished. Dead is vanished. Dead is vanished. No, In what God said, Abraham, Abraham, and you, all men would receive blessing. Abraham, and you, all men that come to this world would become a blessed people of me, God. Yes, that no foundation in this reference that we have. Abraham, right Abraham himself. God called the source of his blessing for all men. But if you read the Bible further, then we got the secret that the seed of the woman that God promised in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15 that he would destroy Satan for us. They would destroy the works of Satan for us. The seed God would give to us through Abraham. This promise of God to Abraham in Genesis chapter 12 that in Abraham God would make all men his blessed people. It's in the sea that God promised in Genesis that the promise will be fulfilled. That is the seed that God promised he would give to the woman who would come through Abraham. God would make us sons of men, blessed people in the judgment of God over Adam would vanish over us. The curse of God over Adam would vanish over us, sons of men, and death. The judgment of God on Adam would vanish from us, sons of men, according to what David said. 
going to the grave would vanish from us through this blessing of God that would be the blessing of eternal life we would no longer see the grave according to the word of David in Psalm 49 Psalm verse 9 now Genesis chapter 22 verse 18 we read there that the blessing that God promised us the sons of men Abraham, in Abraham in it's in our seed that blessing would be ours Genesis chapter 22 verse 18 yes let me see. Yes. Yes. Abraham. Abraham. In a seed that I would give to you, all men would become my blessed people. So, on this foundation, the foundation of Christ, which God began in Abraham, how the works of Satan and of death and of hell would vanish from us sons of men. And the Lord will restore his own world. So here, God promised this Genesis 22 in a seed that he would give to Abraham. All men would become blessed people of God. Blessed people of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we have got a secret again. Abraham that what Abraham, what would make Abraham the source of the blessing for all men? Was that the seed that Abraham would be God's blessing for us, the source of men, would be a seed of Abraham. Through the seed of Abraham, that God would give to him, all of us, the sons of men, who Adam had made a cost being sold, we would become blessed people of God again, in a seed that God would give to Abraham. All of us, the sons of men, who have carried that anger of God would become beloved children of God again in a seed of Abraham that God would give to him all of us sons of men who have received the curse of death would receive the blessing of eternal life hallelujah hallelujah now we have got two truths in Genesis chapter 12 Abraham, that Abraham would become God's God. blessing for all men in Genesis chapter 22 we got a second truth that in a seed that Abraham, they would give to Abraham all of us sons of men would become a blessed people of God again now that third truth what is the blessing that all men would receive through the seed of Abraham what is the blessing that all of us sons of men who Adam made, made a cost beings of God what is the blessing that would receive through the seed of Abraham Genesis, Genesis. chapter 17 Second. verses Asikeje. 1 and 7 yes Yes. 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 Abraham. Abraham. My friend. 
Continue to walk with me. And be you perfect. Why did I say? You should continue to be my friend. And be perfect. I want to do for you an eternal good. I God the Almighty. I want to establish a covenant. Between you and me. And it will be an everlasting covenant. A covenant whose work will not end. A covenant that will continue to work forever. I, God, want to establish it between you, Abraham, and me. Then God said what the covenant would be. In the program of the covenant, Abraham, I shall be your God forever. In the program of the covenant, all those who are your children, I shall be their God too. Everlastingly. This is the blessing that God would give to us, sons of men, through the seed of Abraham. This seed of Abraham that God promised in Genesis chapter 22 that God called the new foundation foundation that is in Isaiah, in Isaiah chapter 28 verse 16 when the seed would come the seed of this everlasting covenant he would make God our God everlastingly through this new foundation who is the seed of Abraham through this new foundation the seed of the woman that God promised in Genesis who he said he would use to destroy Satan and his work through the seed and and all of us sons of men who become seed of Abraham God said he would become our God everlasting children of God who are here when the seed would come this covenant of the everlasting God when he would fulfill it for us and God becomes our God forever then what David said would come true. All of us sons of men who believe in the seed of Abraham. All of us sons of men who believe in the seed of the woman. All of us human beings who receive the new foundation as our Lord and Savior. God said he would become our God forever. And we should understand that we will receive the foundation that the Almighty God and the Almighty God becomes our God forever. And will become People of God forever. In our lives, Satan has vanished. Death is abolished. Death is abolished. And in the first coming of this city, this would materialize. It is during his first coming. He would make us children of God. It is not at his return. Not at the second coming. He will make us children of God. But in his first coming. When he would make himself a ransom. And he abolished our sins through his death. It's then he would make us children of God again. So what Paul said is true that it was through that death on the cross that Christ destroyed Satan. Hebrews chapter 2 verses 14 and 15. What Paul said is correct in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 8 through 10 by the manifestation of Jesus the Lord the first time he has abolished the death and he has given us life and incorruption so just as we have read in Genesis, in Genesis chapter 17 verses 1 and 7 
that once Abraham continued to be God's friend in perfection, he would establish a covenant between Abraham and Abraham that will be an everlasting covenant. And the covenant, what it will do was Abraham, Abraham and all of us who received the seed, all of us who received the covenant, we know it's a new covenant. The covenant we read in Genesis, chapter 17, we know that it's the New Testament that the seed of Abraham. Is Jesus our Lord and Savior. So we sons of men who receive the seed of Abraham and we receive the covenant that was between God and Abraham. The New Testament. According to the promise of God then God becomes our God forever. And we become children of God forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When it was a time that God would fulfill this promise, when He would send the foundation of life, who He said would come through Abraham, the foundation of life that God promised in Isaiah chapter 28, verse 16. When it was a time that God would send the foundation. Abraham, who God called again the seed of Abraham that would be the blessing of God for all of us the sons of men realize that it's Christ the Lord his word his power his wisdom by whom he made us sons of men was the seed of Abraham that came to the world we realize that it's Christ the Lord who had been from eternity past with God as we have read in Proverbs chapter 8 verse 22 through Rule 31. It was he who came to the world. When this new foundation, the seed of the woman, the seed of Abraham, when he would come to the world, it's Christ the Lord that Micah spoke about in Micah chapter 5, verse 2. That from everlasting it had been, it's Christ who came. Read that Micah. Chapter 5, verse 2. Ati wo Betile mo efrata. Pi wati jake kere la ni awe bebe ro juda. Yes. Ne no re ni eni ti yo. Ye o lori ni Israel yo ti jade tobe wa. Yes. E jade lo re si jela ti igbani. Yes. La ti a ye ra ye. You wo Betile mo. You Betile him. Efrata. Efrata. O lori. The ruler that will come forth from you to me, the Almighty, he has been as of old, he has been from everlasting. Yes. According to this portion of the Bible we have read, this verse does not say that Christ is honored with that name, everlasting. Said is going for. Is going for. Has been from of old. From everlasting. His essence. His existence. His has come to existence. He has been from of old. From everlasting. What Micah says. It's what God calls him in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. We want to lie, Christy. The, the, Lata, you are here. The being of Christ from everlasting. Isaiah speaks of in chapter 9 verse 6. Said the child that is given to her. The son, the male child. Is the mighty God. Everlasting father. 
All of you God's people who are lovers of the truths of the Bible we shall see visibly from the references we have read that the name everlasting father that the bible calls Christ it's not that God honored him with the name for one reason or the other but it has been uh, it's been one when it has been and so be the word of God that God spoke to make all things the power in God that God used to make all things the wisdom in God that God used to make all things that is God himself. according to 1 John in chapter 1 verse 1 yes, in the beginning was the word the word was inside of God and the word was God what are we saying this Christ, there's no foundation that God promised in Isaiah chapter 28. Christ, this Christ, who is the seed of the woman that God promised in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. Christ, this Christ, who is the seed of Abraham that God promised that will give to her also sons of men as a blessing to her when he would come to the world when he would come to the world Christ Jesus the Lord. So Christ Jesus the Lord. The son of Mary. Is that no foundation? Is the foundation of life? Is that no covenant? And it is He who would make us children of God. According to the promise of God. The covenant of God to Abraham. In Genesis. Chapter 17 that we have read, verse 7. Said I make a covenant with you, Abraham. It's a covenant between you and me. That you, Abraham, and all those who are your sons, you are my sons. Through this covenant, I will make you a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will make you a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will make you a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will make you a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will make you a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will make you a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will make you a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will make you a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will make you a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will make you a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will make you a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will make you a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will make you a great nation. And I will bless you. And I will make you a Jesus the Lord oh, no, oh, man, oh. was the seed. Baba, no, but, 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 yes, so whoever receives Jesus so, and receives his covenant yes, the New Testament oh, the, oh, no. he becomes a child of God yeah, be, lady, oh, no. according to the promise of God. Oh, the, oh, no. In this world he becomes a child of God. No, when his end comes he's a child of God. Yeah, yeah, oh, no. In the time it is a child of God. Yeah, yeah, oh, no. Anyone who receives Christ and becomes a child of God in this world when his end comes and in eternity. Yeah, David said, then one David said we come to then we live forever and not see the grave. What Paul said then we come to in Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 and verse 15 death as abolished. Yes, Satan is abolished. Hell is abolished in the life of a believer of Christ who becomes an everlasting child of God. Now read Matthew Chapter one, verse one. There we shall read Christ Jesus. The Christ Jesus is the seed that God promised to Abraham. To Abraham. Yes. Away, right? Jesus Christ. 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 Yes. Away, right? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I, I can be barely by now. We have read in the Bible that Jesus Christ is the seed that God promised to Abraham that in his seed all men who were accursed beings in Adam would become a blessed people of God. Would become a blessed people of God. In the seed God promised in Ephesians chapter 1 verses 3 through 5 where God promised from eternity past before God that in him 
how men would become children of God. That eternal purpose that God had made that in Christ those who believe in him would become children of God. That's why they are not came to fulfill in his coming. According to what Paul says in 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 8 through 10 that from eternity past God had declared in love love that man would belong to him. Paul continues in 2 Timothy that through the coming to the word of Christ God fulfilled it. When Christ came to the world Christ abolished the death and brought life and the eternal purpose came true. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now having seen in Matthew chapter 1 verse 1 that Jesus Christ is the seed that God promised before we conclude today, let's now consider his blessing, his blessing that he came to give to us sons of men. That through the blessing, God would become the God of men and will become people of God forever. Galatia, Galatians, Ori Keta, Keta Three, Verses thirteen and fourteen. Galatia, Ori Keta, Galatians, Chapter Three, Verses thirteen and fourteen. Yes, Christ did it and walk by the cross, now we go away. Yo, Christ did it and walk by the cross, now we go away. Me and my boy, Christ did it and walk by the cross, now we go away. I don't Yes. 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 Paul is on in Galatia. Here in Galatians. Holy Keta. Chapter 3. As a Keta Lad the Galena. Verses 13 and 14. That Christ. Hotel Awakada. Christ has redeemed us. Paul away, go feed. From the curse of the Lord. How did he redeem us? Oh, the idea. He wore the crown of God. John 19. How did he redeem us? He was nailed into the cross. Oh, who quest? He died for us. Oh, who quest? Go for he died and I caused death for the winning Galatia. According to our process in Galatia, so Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. How did he redeem us? According to our process, he was made a curse for us. Christ was made a curse for us, sons of men. In verse 14, then he explains our curse, our curse, our curse, our curse, our that God bought. He explains to us the work it did. Said he bore the cause of us, sons of men. The blessing that God promised to Abraham that it might come upon us. For if we remained a cost beings in Adam. We would not simultaneously be blessed we sons of men. He will remain a in Adam. At the same time, to be blessed people. At the same time, it's not possible. Once we remain a cost being in Adam, 
we would not be blessed people. We would then go with Satan. Death would continue to kill us. And we would continue to go to the grave. But if we would not go to Satan again, death would not kill us again. We would not go to the grave again. Death would be removed from us. That's all Paul says. And Christ has redeemed us. He did the work of redemption. He did the work of redemption. He became our redeemer. He redeemed us from the curse of the Lord. How did he redeem us? He brought, he brought our curse. He was made our curse for us. Children of God who are hearing us. Where did Christ bear the curse? Where? Did Christ bear the curse? Where? Christ bear the curse? It was on the cross. He was on the cross. He was as a and was killed as a on that's what Paul says he was made a curse for us and through his death on the cross he fulfilled the prophecy for it has been foretold and anyone that is narrowed to the cross well, is on a cost to be Deuteronomy Chapter 21. Verse 22. Yes. 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 This was a reference Paul quoted. The Christ that saved him. When he died on the cross, he died. And a cost death. The cost of death. That, had, that God placed on Adam. And which came upon all sons of men. Christ bore for us. On that cross. And in Galatia. Verse 3. Verse 14. Paul says he bore our cost for us. That the blessing of Adam. That God promised. In Genesis. Chapter 12 that we have read, read verse 3. The blessing of God that God promised to Abraham that we have read in Genesis. Chapter 22 verse 18 that the blessing might come upon us sons of men. Then he mentioned the blessing. That is the blessing of the Holy Spirit. We who believe in Jesus once we receive Jesus when we receive, when we believe in Jesus, then we shall receive the Holy Spirit. In, com, in the coming weeks, we shall see the importance of the Holy Spirit. That the seed of heaven gives us the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of heaven. That is the Spirit of God. Is the Spirit of Christ. Is the Spirit of life. So anyone who receives the Holy Spirit, what David said, will come to. Anyone who receives uh, the Holy Spirit, uh, the everlasting uh, uh, the Spirit of uh, God, uh, the Spirit of Christ, uh, the Spirit of life, uh, the Spirit of live forever. Uh, According to what David uh, said, uh, he will live forever uh, and not see the grave. Uh, this was a program God did. Uh, yes, to prepare for the new foundation that would come. Uh, Abraham that is Abraham was a provision that God made so that through him there are no foundation the eternal Christ Christ the everlasting king he would come to the world through Abraham so when he would come as the everlasting life once we believe in him once we believe in him his death on the cross would remove the cross the cost of and once he gives us the Holy Spirit we receive the Spirit that will make us live forever so all of you God's people 
Adua. Let's play our own role. What do we? As the Lord said. Kako labe Adamu. Let's go away from under Adam. Kama abalo do ekpile yetuto yi. Let's come to this new foundation. Te se ru amo bele. The seed of the woman. Am Abraham. The seed of Abraham. Te se Christi olua. That Christ the Lord. Kako labe do Yeshu. Let's leave Satan. Te Adamu Yeshu. Adam belongs to Satan. Kako labe do Yeshu. Let's leave this. The Adam uniku. Adam belongs to the hell. Let's be hell. Adam belongs to the hell. Kako labe guanano. Let's come out. The Adam uniku guanano. Curse of God. Come on, balado ebo guanano. Let's come to the blessing of God. Ebo guanye ra ye. The everlasting blessing. Ebo guan Abrahamu. The blessing of Abraham. This year, many more. It's the Holy Spirit. This year, me. The spirit of life. In the name of Jesus, the Holy of the grace to receive this message heartily and to confess this one the seed of the Abraham, the seed of Abraham, the grace to confess him as our Lord and Savior, that he might become our through him, he might become people of God, and through him, he might become children of God, through him. Live forever. I don't see death. We are joined till next week. Oh, you're a